Good morning guys, we are leaving Reykjavik in Iceland today and we are heading to the UK. It's kind of noisy where I am because we've just arrived at the airport. Um, we've just fueled up the plane, we're about to throw our bags in and uh, yeah, and then head off. The weather's looking pretty good and uh, yeah, it's going to be a long day of flying again. Oh, has he left us? Yeah. Oh no. Here he's going to Scotland. I mean, honestly, I'd, I'd probably rather just stay in Iceland a few more days. <laughs> fueled up, we are ready, all the bags are in, we've got snacks accessible and uh, obviously got our full immersion suits, dry immersion suits on. As before, all of our ocean crossings we need to wear these just in case we uh, have to ditch the plane and survive in the cold sea. Uh, how are you guys feeling? Ready to fly? Yeah, so ready. Alright, we're good to go. Right, I think the plan is now we've got a three or four hour flight over the ocean to Scotland where we're going to, uh, we're either going to stay there for the night or we're going to refuel and head down to the south of England. Um, yeah, I think we're making good time. I guess it's kind of weather dependent as every single part of this trip is. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. Didn't get a lot of sleep, but I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. It's going to be fun seeing people in the UK. Change GoPro batteries or something. But, I mean, it doesn't really scare me because 
I'm just so used to it at this point. But, uh, and I mean, in my mind, it's like, well, sure, we'll flip over or something, but we'll make it out. In reality, we would probably die. Yeah. of the Faroe Islands over here. Apparently I'm getting cell service right now, which is crazy. And I uh, just crossed from uh, Reykjavik's airspace over into uh, Scotland, I think. You know, I was a kid and I used to fly with my dad. I used to do that <laughs> all the time and I didn't realize that he could hear it. Uh, 5.7 DME, we start our descent. Right. 6.57, we're beacon inbound. East flight 57, uniform, roger. I was just looking out for icebergs, and then I was like, oh no, there's no icebergs here. Scotland, this is so exciting. This is amazing. I think it's pretty crazy to think we flew this plane here. Yeah. Up to zero five via Charlie and to backtrack line up runway three one. Via Charlie and to backtrack line runway runway three one. Met up zero five. Yeah, I guess this is the last we're gonna see of the suits for a while, right? Until uh, Australia. Wow. So we've just landed in Wick, literally the most like northern point of Scotland I've ever been. It's from right at the top. And I'm really shocked with how I'm feeling. I'm feeling, um, I don't know, like I, I really am sensing the connection with Scotland. If you don't know guys, I'm, I'm half Scottish. So uh, my mum, side of the family's uh, all from Scotland. Not this far north, but um, yeah, it feels really weird to, I guess, the fact that we, we flew in ourselves from California, that we've made it this far and in this tiny plane. It feels a lot, way more different from flying commercially uh, across the Atlantic, but just to kind of cruise in in this tiny plane as we have, like, it feels amazing to me that we're in Scotland now. And yeah, like I said, I feel, feel very connected to this place. Kind of get, getting a bit emotional. So this control tower we've just walked yeah, into to do some paperwork. Um, this is actually a, a World War II control tower and we've just been shown in this room here. And this desk is original World War II. Check this out. This is awesome, it's got like a, a, royal, a royal emblem on it. Huh. Right, I've got a cheeky little coffee and we're just trying to figure out now whether we're going to stay up here tonight or whether we're going to head down to a London airport and there's a few little things we need to have checked over on the plane and we need to kind of have that done over the next few days but we, it's all kind of, because everything's so last minute we're trying to get hold of people, figure out where the best place is, where we can stay, all these kind of things so we're, uh, yeah, we're working on it, we're figuring it out. We, uh, we made the decision to stay in, stay in Scotland tonight, 
Uh, there's no point rushing down to England. So uh, yeah, we're gonna make the most of it. Oh. Okay, this is Drew. He's gonna help us out. Give us another goaded to him. Yeah, he's been sticking around waiting for us. <laughs> Very patiently. Good service from us guys. Thanks bro. So before we head to where we're staying, we're just swinging past this uh, epic castle. Just have a little look at it, check this out. It's got like proper, uh, what's it called at the top when the, when it does that, is that turrets? Oh my gosh, tartan uh, carpets, awesome. This couldn't be more Scottish. <laughs> okay, oh I love retro world maps. Uh, guys, just as a recap, okay, we left here, flew, flew across here, up to Boston, all the way up to... Iqbalik? Yeah, Iqbalik, is that how you yeah. pronounce it? Across Greenland to... Sondershofford? No, we went mm -hmm. to Nuke, and then across the ice cap, across the ice cap, Reykjavik, boom, down here. That is, that's a fair way around the world already. What do you reckon, a quarter? Guys, oh, wow. check this place out. Yeah, this is this is something special, isn't it? Kind of sad we're not going to be staying here tonight, but uh, we'll. Uh, this is definitely somewhere I want to come back to and enjoy it properly. It's pretty romantic in there, so I think me and Raya should come here. Woo. Guys, we're just going to go check out Scotland's biggest treehouse. We're going to go check out Scotland's biggest treehouse. Scotland, UK, but uh, I'll Scotland, I mean, just need to be safe. And, and look how epic it is coming in through. I've seen pictures of this online. This is. It's the roof this oh my gosh! It's so, cool. it's so cool, and it's actually suspended by, by the, the trees. trees. Yeah, you'll see. It's not just it. on like struts. Yeah, you'll see. I think there is a few struts, but I mean, there is. The trees do support a lot. But that feels pretty genuine to me. That like the trees are coming up through it. The, oh my gosh! The they're coming the out the roof. <gasps> this is insane. This is like my dream. The, the best view is from the other side. It's flat on the back. Oh like, my gosh! What is this? This is like a magical fairy tale. What the heck? Look at that. Electricity, Wi Fi. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah, this is basically my dream home. Although I'd probably do it higher if I could get it a bit higher off the ground. Wow. It goes up through the roof and that as well. Yeah, and look at those branches coming up the roof. That is, that is actually insane. 
So uh, Matt is going to try the haggis, which is a very traditional Scottish dish, if you didn't know. Okay, Matt, what is your consensus on the haggis? It is so much better than it sounds. It's yeah. actually really good. Um, definitely come to Scotland and have some haggis. Yeah. I, obviously, I'm not, I'm not going to be eating haggis, but back when, when I was eating meat, I actually quite enjoyed the taste of haggis. I don't, I don't hear a difference here. Like, haggis, haggis. He says haggis. 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 Haggis, haggis, I don't know. It's all pretty similar to me. Right, dinner is over. We are now commencing Laptop Club. The room's a little bit small, so we're gonna take over this lounge area, which um, obviously no one's in right now because it's like 11 p.m. But we're gonna set up a little workstation. And guys, I'm trying my hardest to, oh, break everything. And no, I'm trying my hardest to catch up for you, catch up my vlogs. And um, oh, it's, it's a challenge, it's, it's a fun challenge. Uh, barely getting any sleep, got to bed at like 6.30 this morning. I'm gonna try and pull another all-nighter. Um, oh, I probably shouldn't have decided to do these round the world vlogs in 4K, because the render time is just immense, but I'm on top of it, I'm gonna try and be anyway. Uh, we're also thinking about leaving super early in the morning because there's like this abandoned castle near here and like the sunrise is gonna be epic. I'm not usually a morning person, but Matt has convinced me we should go for a, a photo walk and get some cool shots. Um, and then yeah, hopefully we're gonna be heading down to England tomorrow. I'm gonna to meet up with some friends, catch up my family a little bit. And uh, oh, I cannot believe we've made it across the Atlantic. It is honestly the most incredible feeling and uh, yeah, we're all just buzzing, um, loving this trip so much. I hope you guys are too. And uh, yeah, I just, uh, I can't really put it into words how I'm feeling, but I'm just feeling amazing. And I'll, uh, yeah, see you guys in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.